This video is about a portable CIPP lining process used for the repair of defective underground drainage pipes without the need for excavation. The process is called the One Man Liner, designed by Gadman Industries using technology gained from Gadman's sister company in the USA and Germany. The method commences with the mixing of a two-part resin, part A and B. Once mixed, the resin is poured into a coated felt tube. The resonated felt tube is then subject to a combination of vacuum pressure and roller pressure applied with the use of a nip roller system. The vacuum pressure sucks out the air from the tube, whilst the nip roller forces the resin into the pores of the felt tube to ensure 100% pinhole free impregnation. Once fully resonated, the liner is inserted into the defective old pipe by one of two means, either mechanically, which involves pushing or pull winching the liner into place, or pneumatically, which involves blowing the liner tube into place using a technique referred to as the inversion process. The inversion process will be shown later on during the course of this video. With the resonated liner in place, the next step of the process is to inflate the liner such that it's in full contact with the walls of the defective pipework. Inflation is achieved using the once referred to process called inversion. Inversion requires the use of a portable air tank ergonomically designed to allow single person operation. A lay flat bladder material is wound onto the central shaft of a portable air tank. The ends are clamped to the nose of the tank and then air is fed into the tank. This has the effect of blowing the bladder forward. On blowing the first few feet forward, the bladder is then manually guided into the start of the below ground resonated wet liner. Air feed is then resumed to allow the full travel of the bladder through the length of the resonated liner till the liner is fully inflated. With other methods, the wet liner is left to cure into a hard plastic this takes typically two to three hours of waiting. With the one-man liner system, this dead time is no longer necessary. This is because the method employs the use of a hot air compressor that drastically reduces the curing time to just a few minutes per job. Once the liner is hard, the bladder is retracted by reversing the inversion process and imploding the bladder back into itself. Once the bladder is removed, the pipe is now free to accept sewage flow. The finished result is a new hard plastic pipe within the existing pipe. Just imagine up to 10 meters of 4 inch pipe lining achieved by one man in under an hour, faster than say a patch liner, working from a vehicle no bigger than a regular car. That's impressive, wouldn't you agree?